his heat signature, and the satellite scan should pick him up right about... Got him. 400 meters north-northeast. Hit it, Wayne. Consider it hit, Dr. Kane. Hi, Scopes. A fancy meeting you here. So what's an ugly creature like you doing in a place like this? Humans, we are glad you have joined us. We have a special gift for you and all of your kind. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh, Dr. Kane, are we still alive? Well, according to the OIC, yes. Ha! Not laughing now, are you, Scopes? <laughs> Looks like you lose, Scopes. No, human. We have already won! <laughs> Time's up! <laughs> human, we shall meet again! <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something, but doesn't Scopes usually get annoyed when we devolve him? Yeah, normally he's more... And a little less... <laughs> hmm. Scopes wasn't aiming this device at us. It's not even a weapon. It's a remote launch key. He was using it to launch the missiles! Those missiles are decommissioned. The nuclear warheads have been removed, but they still have detonation charges. Their target is... Wait a minute. There is no target. They're just heading up into the stratosphere. The scopes could be planning to... <laughs> put genus cells into the atmosphere. Uh, Dr. Kane, what's going on? There's a storm coming, kiddo, and it's gonna be a bad one. Reports are coming in from all over the world. The exploding missiles caused the genus cells to multiply, and, sad to say, the pollution levels in the air of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and lead are feeding the genus cells as they replicate and spread all over the planet. On a happier note, these jelly beans are delicious. <laughs> Here, General, try a white one. It's popcorn-flavored. It's an outbreak on a global level. Kane, you should have stopped that creature from firing those missiles. Maybe we should ask what Scopes was doing with a top-secret military launch device, General. I don't know. I'm looking into that. Mm. Guys, look. It doesn't matter how it happened. All I know is it's about to rain genus. And we don't have a big enough umbrella. <laughs> Dr. Kane, I'm feeling funny. Rain's mutations always mimic the genus's evolution. And this time, that is definitely not a good thing. Dr. Kane, I'm feeling really funny. Fascinating. 
He's formed living primal organic protoplasmic matter. You're talking about Wade! Oh, this is ten times worse than mutating a third arm. Look out! <laughs> Quick! Catch Wayne! We can't misplace one little bit or we could lose Wayne forever! Here, hold some of Wayne. Huh? Hey, cut it out, Wayne! <laughs> oh, that tickles! <laughs> LT. I hate it when stuff gets into my suit. How do you feel, kiddo? A little claustrophobic, but otherwise, great! Ira, you better come see this. Okay. So there's about a thousand genus pods out there. Still, it could be worse. Okay, people, let's saddle up and go to work. You got it, Dr. Kane. Uh, somebody help Wayne saddle up? Okay, just for you. All right. Aw, oh, Dr. Kane, that's all right. Say it like you really mean it. Okay, okay. All right! Okay, Mr. Mantis, start praying, because Harry Block is ready to rock. What? Where'd he go? Harry, look out! Ooh. Thanks, LT. to make a little rain of our own. Good work, Lieutenant. Nice thinking. Uh, why is it going all blue? All right. We've got the right play, now we need to take it to him. Go global! Mm. Wipe him out! I'm sorry, Harry. It's impossible. You guys simply can't be in that many places at once. I don't understand. What are we seeing? The end of the world. is in grave danger. No, there are no other alienator units. So far, Dr. Kane and his team have always been sufficient to contain the genus. The genus has never before spread at this speed and on such a global scale. Yes, sir. We fully understand the cataclysmic nature of these outbreaks. But we have a plan which we hope will work on a planetary scale. Okay, Lieutenant, let her rip! Once we finish loading up this last missile with selenium, we can launch our counterattack and save the world. It's just that easy. Ira, are you sure this will work? Trust me, I'm a genius. This footage demonstrates how quickly this new genus strain is spreading around the globe. Lucky no lives have been lost, but if Ira's plan doesn't work, We'll be crowded off our own planet. Missiles armed. So, who wants to press the button and save the world? No, no me! I will! 
Nobody? Okay, guess I'll do it. If anyone's gonna launch any missiles around here, it's gonna be me, understand? Fire in the hole! <laughs> wrong. Oh, man, don't say that. I was about to bust out my goodbye Gina's happy dance. <laughs> Denied. The genus evolved immunity faster than it ever has before. It's only possible if all the outbreaks are behaving like one organism. But Ira, the genus has usually been connected within an outbreak. I know, but this time it's different. They're physically connected on a global level. It's all one pod. Every genus organism is tightly linked together. It's mind-boggling. But don't worry, I'm not about to give up. We'll find another plan. No, Kane! You had your chance, it's finished. I'm advising the world leaders to issue the global evacuation order. We've been preparing shelters just in case. Uh, what exactly does he mean by that? He means we're going underground. What's on TV? Citizens of Earth, speaking on behalf of the world leaders, it is with heavy hearts we inform you that the evolutionary threat known as the genus has succeeded in populating our entire planet. Our defenses have been unsuccessful. After extensive research, we have exhausted all other possibilities. We must now execute a complete and immediate evacuation of the planet's surface. Boring! Large underground genus fallout shelters have been prepared. The human race shall retreat under the Earth for survival. And perhaps one day in the future, we shall once again return to the surface, better able to fight the genus and regain our planet. No fair! That boring dude is like totally hogging all the channels. Thanks for inviting us to your underground party, General. But if you don't mind, we have a prior engagement back on top, fighting Scopes and the genus. Kane, we're going underground in order to train an army to fight the genus. We're gonna need your help. Ira, you have to stay. Look, you're wrong. If we stay underground, Scopes will win. The genus will be too strong. They'll have taken over completely. Huh? That's, you have to let me go. We have to keep fighting the genus. We have to defeat it now before it's too late. Guards, secure them in a detention cell until the shelter has been completely locked down. There's nothing you can do. It's for your own good. You're making a big mistake. Well, that's it. Game, set, match. The genus won. No! Guys, I can't let Scopes win. I can still hear him laughing. I have to get back to the surface before they finish locking this place down. And I'm gonna need help. Who's with me? Put me in, coach. Simplify, Doc. <laughs> hey, what about me? Actually, kiddo, I'm glad you're in because we're gonna need your help getting out of here. I need you to get through the manual override and open the door. Good work, Wayne. You all in one piece? Feeling good, Dr. Kane. Looking good, kiddo. Okay, people, let's get back to the surface. Turn it back now. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs> the genus is reforming the planet into living genus coral. We're losing the Earth, folks. But I'm not gonna lose it to the likes of Scopes. Okay, 
Lyra, what's the plan? Do we recalibrate the blue goo with some high-tech science chemical? Well, for right now, the plan is for me to sit here and try and think of a plan. You mean, we let the safety of the shelter... And we're surrounded by the genus. And we don't have a plan? Well, I was kind of hoping that something would come to me. Soon. Right now, I wish I could just wake up to find that this whole outbreak was just a big hoax. Yeah, like when that Orson Welles guy had everyone believing the Martians had landed. Harry, it was War of the World by H.G. Wells. Yeah, well, he knew it was one of the Wells brothers. That's it! Wayne, you're a genius! Uh, I am. <laughs> well, as close as living primal gelatinous ooze in a jar can get to being one, I've got a plan, and it's a work of genius. Admittedly, it's H.G. Wells' is genius, but genius is genius. All I need is my equipment, some blue goo, and a little time. Well, you've got your laboratory. Here's your blue goo. Yeah, and you got all the time in the world. Oh! Human! We are pleased you are here to witness the finality of our conquest. Scopes! We just had the gate crash your end of the world shindig. I hear later you're gonna break a pinata. Ira, do whatever you have to do to save the world. LT and I'll buy you some time. Come on, LT. Let's win one for the human race. Ah! Here, catch! Ah! to add a little of the blue goo dandruff shampoo. Huh? Uh, hurry, Dr. King! Uh, uh. That should do it. Now, where scopes? Humans! You are insignificant parasites. Your time is finished. Not just yet, scopes. The party is just getting started. <laughs> That's it? That's your big plan? A refreshing spritz? Harry, all good things come to those who wait. <laughs> One! You cannot defeat us, but... We will overcome this, too! It's called the Common Cold, Scopes. Scientists have been trying to find a cure for it for years. And this is my favorite part. I use the fact that the genus outbreaks were physically connected all around the world to help spread the virus. Not even the genus can evolve an immunity that fast. Ah! Especially seeing as I tailored the virus with a little selenium, just for you. No! Human! You shall not win! Funny. Your grand scheme brought down by something so insignificant. I suppose we should notify General Woodman that the area is all clear. You're right, Lieutenant. We'll inform him as soon as possible. Well, maybe first thing after lunch. Or supper. Definitely in time for breakfast tomorrow. Or late brunch. 